Michigan's cases breaking another record today. More than 27,000 new infections were re recorded in the last two days. That is an average of 13,673 cases a day, more than we've ever seen in a single day during this pandemic. The spike in cases impacting numerous sectors from police to schools and hospitals. Tonight, Beaumont says more than 400 of its employees have called out sick due to the spread of the virus. Devin Action News reporter Faraz Javed is live tonight with how employers are dealing with this ongoing and worsening crisis. Faraz. Carolyn, from private to public sector, it seems like no one in Michigan is spared from this latest COVID-19 surge. Now, earlier this week, we covered how Detroit Public Schools Community District started the new year with mass testing of its staff members. Now, Superintendent Dr. Nikolai Viti has shared the preliminary data with me, and he says it does not look good. I would say from 10 to 20 percent of employees have tested positive for COVID. Uh, that's a combination of um, employees that tested voluntarily last week and the beginning of the test results on Monday. That's a whopping 600 employees that have tested positive. And Dr. VT says by mass testing, the district was able to avoid spreading the infection further and disrupting school operations. You know, at 40% infection rate uh, at the city level, uh, it's inevitable that that infection rate is, is impacting employees and students, and they would bring COVID with them if we opened the doors on Monday as scheduled. Plus, with more testing data to be evaluated this week, Dr. VT believes the number is going to go up. Hence, the district will follow virtual learning for the time being. The latest, hopefully we would go back to in-person learning, is January 31st, uh, which would be the start of the second semester. I, I, I'm hoping that's the worst case scenario. Um, is late January, early February. Meanwhile, law enforcement has also fallen victim to COVID-19. Detroit Police Department's first assistant chief, Todd Bettison, says a total of 361 of the force's members have so far tested positive for the virus. It has impacted our operations as far as being able to deliver service to the citizens. So we're still able to function, but we have had um, um, a uptick in our numbers of positive members. Back in April last year, DPD recorded 647 of its finest being infected with the virus. That's why Bettison says besides the regular face mask and social distancing, additional measures have also helped to keep new cases within the department at bay. We've reduced the amount of in-person meetings or large gatherings. Now, the assistant chief also says that police vehicles, station and offices are being sanitized daily to make sure that the officers and the community is safe at all times. Dave, Carolyn, back to you. All right. Thank you so much, Faraz, for the live report. Now, the